What do you call a sad story? During my 200 level in the university, I prepared so hard for this exam. Only to get kicked out from the hall. What were my friends? Because I couldn't pay my tuition fee. Who should I blame? Myself? The government? My parents? No. I searched for jobs so that I can get income and pay my fees. For majority of the jobs I got, they needed digital or tech skill. I had to learn those skills and sponsor myself in school. And I noticed most ladies have gone through this and are passing through this every single day of their life. If you look deeply into the female population, you did realize a lot of them get to face several challenges and struggle with social vices. If no solution is able to tackle this, there will eventually be a ripple effect on our families and the community at large as these ones are the future mothers to children, home builders and global agents of positivity. Our focus is on these ones because we believe through them, the society will be affected in a very positive way. According to the International Financial Corporation, about 230 million jobs in Sub-Sahara Africa will be needing digital skills by 2030. At the Female Media Network, TFM, we are bridging the gap to make sure we provide and empower ladies, coaching them and mentoring them, and connecting them to a platform where they can get financed and paid as media experts. Using our models, ladies can now assess digital skills at a very affordable rate. We started in 2018 with 30 ladies and three instructors in an offline training. So far, we've trained over 300 ladies in the space of two years with mentorship currently ongoing. More than 20 of these ladies are currently working as entrepreneurs in several companies through their connections on TFEM. And many more of them are doing marvelously well, evolving to become greater women and greater ladies. During the pandemic, we realized we could become better, we could be more innovative and improve our training process to be able to reach out to more ladies across Africa. So we made a move, we set up a studio and work is currently in progress. But then we would need much funds to be able to complete the process, scale up production and reach out to more ladies out there. With more ladies on the network, we saw the need of getting a solid source of income so we can be able to sustain their trainings and also reach out to more ladies. We plan on recording our digital courses and making them available for sale at a very affordable rate. Our digital courses will be a more detailed version of our current trainings and each course will be sold at an average cost of $15 to $20. If we're able to scale up production as soon as possible, we'll break even in 6 to 8 months, generating a revenue of $4,500 to $6,000, which will help us in managing the cost of training an average of 800 to 1,000 more ladies in Africa. 40% of this fund will be used in developing an e-learning platform and also get more technical materials to accommodate more trainings. Then 20% will be used in marketing our digital courses. Then 30% will also be used in developing a training facility and also get more digital equipment to able to help those underprivileged ladies who can't get access to digital equipment to go to learn and enhance their skill. Then 10% will be used in hiring technical equipment that we can't purchase. We need you to help us do this. We believe in this and we are the change we need. My name is Enu Messi. I'm the founder of the TFM Network. Thank you.